Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nick, and today I'm bringing you guys a quick tutorial on doing 3D letters, uh, just drawing them on paper. Uh, sorry if I sound a bit nasally, I'm kind of sick right now. Uh, it's been a bit of a rough weekend, but uh, I'm going to be doing this real quick tutorial. It probably won't take too long. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you guys some cool stuff. But anyway, let's get into it. Um, so first off, I want to start by saying... Uh, the best way to do 3D letters and like the way that most people do it is using like the boxiest things possible like no curves or anything like that and that's the easiest way I think if you want to learn how to do it and so first off I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw like a 3D square and uh, or a cube I guess you'd say um, and that's really a helpful thing once you get that down that's pretty much the basis for drawing anything 3D that's like a box so really for a 3D square I'll draw it over here. Um, all you want to do is get a fairly proportionate square. I mean, it's not perfect, obviously, but uh, the main thing to remember when you're doing 3D is everything has a parallel line. So, for example, when I draw this top line and this bottom line, these two lines are parallel, or close to it, at least, for when I'm drawing it. Uh, and that'll make it to look the best as it can. Also, this line and the line that I'm going to draw over here are also going to be as close to parallel as I can. Same thing with this line over here. Those two lines are going to be trying to be parallel. And those two. Uh, this box is it's a little wide, but you get the general idea. Um, but yeah, so these two are parallel. Um, these two are parallel. These two, you know, you want to keep a bunch of parallel lines, and the more even they are, uh, the better your square look. This is a little wide, but anyway, a uh, problem that a lot of people have is they'll draw a decent square, you know, and then they'll draw one really short line and one long line, and then another kind of short line, and they'll draw it, and they're wondering why their box looks unproportional. It's because the lines that should be parallel aren't, uh, and that really messes with everything. And it doesn't matter if they're perfectly parallel, it just helps the closest they are. But yeah, once you get that down, just practice. Um, one thing I wouldn't recommend is a lot of people learn how to draw 3D rectangle or squares like this. And while this is great for knowing like how to draw a rectangle, when you're actually drawing, it's not all that helpful because you can't always draw these back lines back here. It's a lot better just to be able to really quickly be able to draw a 3D shape like that. Alright, so uh, now I'm going to be showing you a quick example of applying cubes into your letters um, to make them a really cool 3D. Um, a quick note before I start with the letters, I like to connect my letters. Alright guys, sorry about that, camera died. Um, it's got a really low charge now, so I'm going to try and finish this really quick before it dies again. Um, but as I was saying before, uh, I like to connect my letters, um, so if I was going to draw my name, which is Nick, just real quick, really crappy letters, but um, I would draw them like that rather than having them really like spaced out because I, I think it looks a little, a little better that way. But anyway, um, so, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a quick drawing of my name. Um, and I'm not just doing like super basic shapes. Uh, I'm trying to make it a little more interesting. for now. Alright, so once we've got our basic outline, um, I'm just going to be, I'm going to be drawing it as if, uh, if, uh, as if it was going like this, getting pushed back, so if it was a square, it would be going like that, uh, crappy square, but whatever. Um, that's the way I usually draw them. I just think it looks a little better than if it were like those squares down there. Um, and all I'm going to do is first go through and 
draw the lines jetting back because even if these were, even though most of these lines are curved, all of these lines are going to be straight. Uh, just go through and do a couple of these. I'll finish the K now. But, and then I'm going to draw and match the curves of these letters. Best I can. I'm trying to do it really quickly, so I don't know how this is going to look. But, uh, as you can see, once I add in the last lines, the letters are now 3D. Well, and that's the basic gist of 3D lettering. Um, it's pretty simple, um, and a good way if you're drawing to you make it stand out is, since I'm just using a pencil here, I'm gonna just I'm gonna shade in all those 3D areas real quick so you guys can see them a little better. Um, if you're using pen or colors, it's good to have these back colors be a little darker, um, gives it some nice contrast in the picture, but um, it's just some basic 3D lettering here, really crappily done, but you get the idea, um, you can see this back portion, um, and the most important thing about this is just to practice, really with anything drawing wise, uh, the more you practice the better it's going to get, um, in the end it's really not that hard, um, just getting down that perspective with the cubes and then moving on to doing actual letters. Um, and eventually, you'll get a little better at it. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's about it. Um, we're going to be releasing the winner of our um, giveaway of the poster that I'm going to be drawing um, pretty soon, I'm assuming, up in this week or two. Um, still letting you guys comment down below. If you haven't seen our 1K video yet, uh, I'll it's on our channel. Um, you should go check it out. It's called the one like one K video, I think. Um, and all you gotta do to enter to either win the poster or a banner avatar made by Hayden, you just gotta uh, comment down below under that video your favorite number, and uh, yeah, that'll enter you into the contest. We'll be picking winner soon, so don't forget to do that. Um, as always, if you guys have any uh, ideas for tutorials. Don't forget to comment them below this video, um, and I will do them. I'm going to be doing paper tutorials for now, since my computer is a little messed up. So if you have any ideas, comment them down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in two weeks.